Hi. Thank you for watching our video on 5 interesting things and facts you did not know about Audemars Pichuet watches and company. Before we dive in, the entire team at New Bond Street Pawnbrokers would like to thank you for watching this video. We are an award-winning luxury pawn shop in central London, providing loans on luxury assets like watches, jewelry, diamonds, classic cars, fine art, antiques, and more. Our experts are always on hand for free, no obligation valuations at our shop in Mayfair, central London. Of course, do share and like this video, it really motivates us to do more similar videos. Without further ado, let's dive in. 1. Audemars Pichuet is a family-owned business and always has been. Jules Louis Audemars and Edward Auguste Pichuet established their watchmaking workshop in 1875 in Lubrassis, Switzerland, in Valle de Ju near Geneva. To this day, the company is family-owned, as it has been for nearly 150 years. 2. Another interesting thing you may not know is that the first skeletonized watch was released in 1760 by watchmaker André Charles Caron. In 1934, over 150 years later, Audemars Pichuet decided to take this unique luxury concept one step further, releasing the first skeletonized pocket watch. 3. Audemars Pichuet is celebrating the 50th anniversary of the original Royal Oak watch. Interesting fact, first released in 1972, the Audemars Pichuet Royal Oak was the first steel luxury sports watch, and some say it was the first ever luxury sports watch. Interestingly, Audemars Pichuet didn't make the original Royal Oak prototype from steel. The model presented by Audemars Pichuet in 1972, then called the Safari, was made from white gold. Even the steel models sold to the public had white gold screws, a subtle touch of quality to the keen observer. Believe it or not, the Royal Oak prototype, inspired by diver helmets, was designed just one day before its presentation. Audemars Pichuet updated and re-released the Royal Oak in 1993, calling it the Royal Oak Offshore. 4. After nearly 100 years in business without a market hit, Audemars Pichuet struggled financially. But the release of the Royal Oak turned the tide in favor of this historic watchmaker. Audemars Pichuet hadn't been an instant hit, and neither was the Royal Oak watch, which took more than a year to sell its first 1,000 models to the public. In the end, the astronomical price tag, more than 10 times the cost of a Rolex Submariner at the time, was sufficient to get Audemars Pichuet out of its financial rut and onto the map of luxury watchmakers. 5. Every Audemars Pichuet watch is still handmade. Even as their brand grew, Jules Louis Audemars and Edward Auguste Pichuet chose to handmake their watches, rather than mass-produce them. To this day, one of the defining marks of Audemars Pichuet watches is their handcrafted artistry. So, to wrap up. These are only five interesting things and facts about Audemars Pichuet watches and company. Of course, if you are looking for more videos on all things luxury, from the most famous Rolex watches in blockbuster movies, to the most expensive watches ever sold, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like or share our video. Do check out some of the most popular articles on our blog, links in the description. Finally, if you consider pawning your luxury watch, art, jewelry, classic cars, or other similar assets, do give our team a call to book a free, no-obligation valuation.